For more than 10 weeks, protesters have gathered in Jerusalem, demanding Prime Minister Netanyahu resign. Saturday night's demonstration was 20,000 strong. I'm here because I feel we have a corrupt and incompetent government and prime minister and political uh, discourse that's very dividing, divisive and hateful. And we're led by criminals and we want to put an end to it and make a difference. In addition to the protests in Jerusalem, there were demonstrations held in Caesarea, outside of Netanyahu's home, and at hundreds of major intersections and bridges around the country. Calling for Netanyahu to step down over corruption charges, crowds held signs with slogans like Crime Minister and Revolution. I'm protesting for my country. I'm hoping for better times and for peace. Sixteen were arrested, including a few ultra-Orthodox participants. The religious community has largely supported Netanyahu and his right-wing coalition in the past. But a recent rift over banning a Jewish pilgrimage to Ukraine has encouraged a movement of Hasidic protest. Israel police released a statement earlier asking attendees to keep the gathering calm, saying, We call on the protesters to refrain from violence and provocation. Israel police officers are prepared and retain the right at any moment to protect and defend public order, to allow for everyone's safety, and with that, the freedom of expression of the protesters. Now, the movement is going global. Saturday night's protest was broadcast live on social media and was held in collaboration with 18 cities around the world, including Amsterdam, Boston, New York, Toronto, Madrid, Paris, and more. Mostly Israeli-born, the expat protesters are standing in solidarity with the movement, demanding Netanyahu step down in order to save the country's democracy. Lauren Izzo, ILTV.